It's hard to run in the wild studies with mobile robots. You want to study a real robot platform out in a real environment, but it feels like the robot you want to use may not be able to work autonomously. You could teleoperate it, but that would take a lot of person power. Might have to be a short study. But what if you could do something in between? Use the robot you want, which may not be able to run completely on its own, but also not have to teleoperate it the whole time. We found ourselves in this situation when we wanted to deploy a Mayfield Curie in the halls of our building. Curie is an expressive and engaging robot, and we wanted to have it moving around the space for an extended time. But as an affordable consumer product, it doesn't have the sensors or compute to navigate a large environment autonomously. We realized that, for our purposes, the robot didn't actually need conventional navigation capabilities. It was fine if it didn't know where it was, as long as it traversed the halls. It did have to get back to a charger from time to time, but maybe this could be handled with some help from a human. Maybe our robot could use wandering. Conventional autonomous navigation can enable long-term deployments, but fewer robots have the specs to do it effectively. For example, when using LiDAR-based techniques, Curry couldn't perceive obstacles in many halls, and when using vision-based techniques, Curry had to move extremely slowly to stay localized. Another common approach is Wizard of Oz, but it requires constant researcher attention, limiting the length of the deployment. Our approach, which involves wandering motion with periodic human help, enables long-term deployments while requiring less researcher supervision. Our system consists of a wandering module and a human interaction module. The wandering module selects a direction to move in that both avoids obstacles and aligns with the previous direction. The robot then moves in that direction using an off-the-shelf local controller. The wandering module doesn't enable the robot to get back to its charger. So the human interaction module lets the robot use a chatbot to ping designated helpers when it's low on battery and have them put it on the charger. We deployed this wandering robot system for four days in our academic building. It navigated all 1,200 feet of hallways and ran for 32 hours total without once running out of battery. Overall, the system required around half an hour of the helper's time, mostly for charging help, a small fraction of what a Wizard of Oz deployment would have required. The code for our system is open source, and it's ready out of the box for the several dozen labs that have curies. Whether it makes sense to use wandering in your study is something only you can judge. But the next time you're crunched between a platform that can't navigate on its own and a study that would be difficult to run with teleop, we hope you think, maybe I can make this work with wandering.